so I haven't updated in a while. So I decided that while the kids are both sleeping in the back, I uh, would get one up. Hopefully you can hear me. And I don't wake them up by talking. Let me see if I can get closer or something. <laughs> anyway, um, things are good. Cecily is now eight months old, which is crazy. And she's sitting uh, unassisted. She tries to crawl. She does crawl a little bit. It's um, kind of like an army crawl, like pull herself type of deal. Uh, she um, she is doing the elimination communication, so she's pretty much diaper free completely. She always tells me when she has to go, she barely ever has accidents, like misses, I guess is what you call them. Um, where she tells me, but I miss it, so she has, she'll pee but in her trainer, but uh, most of the time she does fine with her little potty. Um, she just started eating food. I don't know if you saw my last video. She had, um, a banana and so she just occasionally has some food uh, we go by the allergen chart so she doesn't really get everything that we could possibly eat we do baby led weaning but we uh, wait till the recommended age to introduce some foods so like one example is she can't have citrus until she's like 9 to 12 months or um, stuff like that she can't have soy till 12 months she can't have lots of things um, chocolate is like two years old peanuts is three it's um, but yeah we follow that so because your kids can develop allergies from having those foods introduced too soon um, I thought my phone went off for a minute <laughs> anyway um, but yeah she's doing good Keegan's doing good he's three years old now uh, but yeah she nurses whenever she feels like it it's not like as much as Keegan did at that age like he comfort nursed and she doesn't really do that that much she's like she'll nurse to sleep but when she's upset she doesn't want to nurse she wants to cuddle so that's interesting to get used to but yeah she sleeps through the night other than um, waking up to nurse in her sleep she like la I latch her on and go right back to sleep and I think it happens like two or three times maybe two times most of the time I think it's twice maybe at the most but I don't really notice because I'm like asleep and I don't really fully wake up to latch her on and I, I can sleep through her nursing so that's good for me. Uh, so yeah I mean she's just a happy 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 baby. She's such a joy like she has all this hair now that's like growing now and it sticks straight up and um, she giggles and she's so cute. Um, maybe I can show her show you her. <laughs> she's sleeping but she's so big now she's 18 pounds now and I'm not sure how long she is but yeah so she's doing good I just want to do a little mini update and tell you how she's doing she doesn't look like a preemie anymore and her milestones are pretty much on track now at eight months which is surprising I don't know um, she stands and I don't know if I mentioned that she'll go from sitting to standing up and which is crazy because she's not like super crawling around yet but um she, she'll stand and uh, she's trying to take steps while she's standing like cruising already it's crazy she's only eight months old but Keegan started working at 10 months so we don't know if she's just gonna kind of do that but we'll see how her milestones come along as the time sorry I got like an inch in my nose um how if she continues um on track with her milestones or if there's some things that are setbacks um I think maybe talking wise she might be a little behind on that she doesn't babble she doesn't like to babble that much she's very quiet so um so yeah anyway she's doing good just wanted to give you an update and uh i'll try to get more updates i've just been crazy busy with uh doing all this birth activism stuff right now so maybe i'll do a video on that uh anyway i hope you're all well and uh I still have, I hope I still have subscribers that watch me out there, even though I haven't gotten videos in a while. So, uh, anyway, bye guys.